Hi, my name is Jason from Southern Land, and first of all, I want to tell you guys a happy morning. I hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys are having a good week, positive week. Hope we're all staying positive. I just want to encourage you guys that there's no better time than now to start your garden. Get a couple chickens, <laughs> maybe some ducks too. What's up, ducks? And um, you know, we're staying positive here. We're still going about our day, still living life, and um, it's gonna be okay. Sally Henny Penny, good morning. You too, Sally. Whole Foods. Ducks. So our plan, as you know, we're still getting pigs. We're doing meat chickens again this year. And I put in a big order of feed a few weeks ago and it's ready. We gotta pick it up today. Bernice. There you go, Sally. There you go. <laughs> all right, I just picked up <laughs> all the feed. Just picked up this Reedy Fork organic feed. We're loaded down. I've got a bike in here. <laughs> I've got more feet in here. Oh boy, I'm loaded down. We're so low to the ground. <laughs> I know, look at that. Look at that. Look at this right here. Like I could, this is low. Open it. Whoa. <laughs> that is a lot of feed. You gotta Instagram it. Otherwise it didn't happen. All right, can I honestly say this is the most feed that we've ever got at one time. Uh, 2,000 pounds of feed and we need to store it. It's, we can't leave it in the bags because we have nowhere to put it. Uh, it's gonna get wet on if we leave it out or rats or mice or whatever. And um, we need to store it in our barrels. And that's why we have these barrels these four barrels are for our broiler feed, which is for our meat chickens. And so we have feed for our meat chickens. We have feed for our pigs that are coming. And we bought some feed for our egg layers. Guys, right, so let me show you where we used to store our feed when we first moved here. We had no, we had no structures here, uh, no barrels. I didn't even figure that out till a year later, but we used Penelope's Mud Kitchen, <laughs> her little playhouse. We used to store the feed in here. Look at this. This was pile up with bags of feed. And it kept it dry and, and it worked, it worked. But we needed, a, we needed something bigger than that for the amount of chickens that we're raising now. And so that's why I got the barrels and these barrels work really well. They are waterproof, food grade, um, and they have a locking lid. I got two more barrels. I just got these for our pigs. Right. Scoot up a little bit. Alright, all right, so they're all mixed in here. <laughs> okay. Pig feed broiler feed and we have egg layer feed okay so we could put the pig feed over there yes and then the layer and the broiler feed over here yeah can i help yeah they're real heavy bags okay and we have to be careful not to tear them um oh i can't wait so then we can line their our things cool what yeah we're, we're gonna use once we empty these bags out we're gonna use this paper to line the some ditch. of the rows yeah the ditches Yes. What about we use this pallet to put them on to kind of separate them? Alright. Yeah. Where is it? What is this one gonna be? This is for the pig water. Oh, okay. Well let me just put this over here where your other water is. Yeah. They're heavy again. So it doesn't so we're just gonna put the chicken feed here? Yeah, just separate it. We just need to separate it and 
Yeah. <laughs> You got it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to tear the bag. Okay. This is layer feed. Layer. Layer, layer feed. Broiler. Broiler. So there's going to be more broiler. There's going to be more broiler than broiler. anything. Thank you. Uh, you can put it over here. Still clean, dry inside. Yeah. Altogether, this is forty bags of feed, and ideally. It would, and it also would be cheaper if we would have bought a tote. Now a tote is those big white totes that they just fill it up and so they're not using this brown bag. Um, that's a lot cheaper, but you need to figure out how you're gonna store that and also how you're gonna get it off the trailer or your truck and we don't have a tractor for that. <laughs> okay. Getting a workout. Getting a workout. You're gonna need another pallet though for the pig. One. Dad tore the bag. Oh, we spilled some right here. Bag came open. Trying to beat the rain. It's supposed to rain any minute. What did I say? Four thousand, two thousand pounds. Two thousand pounds. Guys, this is a this is a step up for us. <laughs> this much feed. We're definitely ramping up food production this year for us. So this is going to be our for our egg layer feed. And typically we've been buying egg layer feed by the bag, just as we need it. But we're we're learning to plan ahead a little bit and so we bought uh, more bags of feed i think we bought about eight layer feed um, so we should be good for a little while so the other day i just rinsed these ones out all right i just picked up these barrels and these barrels are pretty clean uh, but they also these also are used though these barrels had apple juice in them. And if you're looking for feed barrels like this, I would look at your local Facebook marketplace or even Craigslist. All right, that's one bag. No, I like pulling the string better. <laughs> <laughs> nice. There we go. So these, all these barrels are 55 gallon barrels and they fit about, that's six bags right there. This is not all the pig feed. Uh, this is about three months worth and that's about 11 bags. So we'll be still, we'll be ordering some more in probably the next two months. How are we doing? Uh, pooping out. <laughs> pooping out. Pooping out. And the rain is coming. I feel it. I know. So we, gotta, we gotta do this. How are you doing Penelope? Fine. This is my um, feed castle. Yeah, this is definitely a, a good farm workout right here. Now we do recycle these bags. Um, we put these bags because they're, they are recyclable, we add them to our garden, into the rows. Probably not gonna do that today, but we keep these and do that. 
All right, so I was mistaken. These fit seven bags of feed. Seven bags, 50 pound bags of feed each. And this will feed 60 chickens. So I think the, I like the idea of the sandbags. Uh oh, well, it works. We had another clamp, look at it. I'm just worried that they're gonna get wet in there. It's not gonna get wet, it's closed. Look at that, it's closed. Can't open it, not even a bear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job. You don't call me MacGyver for nothing. <laughs> All right, we did it. That's a lot of bags of feed. Oh, yeah, my back's right? gonna hurt tomorrow. Yeah, I think we're, uh, I think that's it for today. <laughs> it's gonna be right. Look, there's a certain way to do it now. Watch. Look at this. That's how you back it up. <laughs> Boom. That's easy. That's how you back it up. 